today I want to share with you some of my tips on how I soften my new growth. For those of you who do not know, I tend to stretch my relaxers and that just simply means that I don't get a relaxer every, or text lax every six to eight weeks. I don't even know what the like standard time is to relax your hair, but I don't do that set standard of time. I tend to stretch it out um, from nine to 12 to 15, 20, 25, 30 weeks, however long I'm stretching for. I like to do that because it really minimizes breakage because when you are relaxing your hair every six weeks, you're only getting a little bit of new growth. And when you have a little bit of new growth, you can't really tell where, well, I mean, you can tell, but it's a very thin line between where the new growth is and where your relaxed hair is. So the longer you tend to stretch, the more new growth you have. And it's easier to gauge like where exactly your new growth is and where your relaxed hair is. So you don't risk overlapping your hair with a relaxer. When you're overlapping your relaxer, you are just adding you know, a relaxer to that already relaxed hair, which can cause breakage in your hair and you don't want that. So that's why I tend to stretch. Now, these tips are also for those who are transitioning because, of course, you have a lot of new growth, you're trying to transition into natural, and so you're experiencing new growth and you want to know how to soften it and how to make it more manageable. So my first tip for you guys would be the obvious, well, it may not be obvious, but this is something that you already should be doing and that is deep conditioning. Uh, of course, deep conditioning not only softens the rest of your hair and your ends, but it does soften your new growth. Now, the one thing that is different about how you're going to deep condition when you're trying to soften your new growth is that you're going to take your deep conditioner and you are going to focus it on your roots first. Add it to your new growth all over your hair, just kind of like you're putting a relaxer in your hair. If you've ever had a relaxer, you know how that goes. You put it on your new growth. So you're just going to take the conditioner and put it on your new growth. Once you're done putting it on your new growth, then you take it and you put it on your ends. Of course, because that's the driest part of your hair and you want to deep condition your whole head evenly. So you put it on your roots, put it on your ends, and then put it throughout the rest of your hair. You can do this, you know, more than once a week. Uh, I tend to do it one to two times a week. If, <laughs> if I have the time, I will do it two times a week. If not, it's okay. I'll still do it one time a week. My next tip for you guys would be co-washing. And I always say this in my videos, of course. Um, I love co-washing. I go to the gym, and so I tend to co-wash pretty much every day. Those of you who do work out, remember that salt or sweat is salt. And if you leave that salt on your hair, in your scalp, on your new growth, it's going to make it very, very dry. So that's why I would definitely recommend, you know, don't wash your hair, but co-wash your hair. And that is washing your hair with a conditioner. If you don't co-wash every day, you can co-wash a couple times a week. And I really recommend it because co-washing, of course, adds moisture into your hair and it will make your hair a whole lot softer. For those of you that saw my last video, which was my March favorites, you saw that I had this Roots bottle as my favorite, as one of my favorites. And yes, it is one of my favorites, and I also love it to soften my new growth. Take this, apply it to all my roots, and that's it. And so your hair will be very moisturized, and this one is very easy to get to your roots. Now, if you don't have a bottle like this, you can always get a regular applicator bottle or something that can apply it to, you know, your new growth. My next tip would be to baggy your hair. Um, a lot of people, I'm, I'm not sure if everyone knows about this, but it's a great way to add moisture into what your hair. What you're going to do is you're going to take your moisturizer, your oil, or your conditioner, and you're going to apply it to your new growth. And you can also do this to your ends if you want to really, you know, condition your ends as well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take um, a plastic cap, like a shower cap, and you're going to put it on your hair just like if you were taking a shower. Then just take your satin scarf or bonnet or whatever and just put it on top. And then what you want to do is just go to bed at night. The benefit to the baggy method is that once you put the shower cap on your head, there is going to be heat that is coming from your head just because your body has heat. Really just going to really moisturize your hair overnight. And then when you wake up in the morning, you don't rinse anything out. You simply just leave it on your hair and then just, you know, seal it again if you have to and then style your hair as usual. I only have a few more tips for you guys. 
Um, the next one is to invest in one of these little spray bottles here. I got this from Sally's. And what I do is I just fill this up with water and a little bit of conditioner, a little bit of Tresemme Naturals. You can use any conditioner that you have. And then I shake it all up. And then when I feel like my new growth is getting kind of dry, I'll simply just part my hair and then just spray on my new growth. That way I don't have to like wet my whole head. I can just wet my new growth and then it'll be a little bit easier to manage. Also, I like to use a detangler. And if you don't have a good detangler, you know, you can get one. There's plenty of them out there at the store. You just find which one works best for you. Um, I personally like to use the Kinky Curly Not Today. I feel like it works wonderful. It's all natural. Um, it's not that expensive. I think it's like $12 or something like that at Target. Um, but this works really great. I just take a little bit and I'll just put it on my new growth and then just detangle as usual. This is my last tip for you guys. And this tip is if everything that I have just said does not work for you, you have no other way to get your new growth soft and manageable, this is what I will recommend for you guys. And I only recommend doing this maybe once a week. And so what it is, is you take your dryer, your blow dryer, and basically what you want to do is just blow out your roots only. Do not blow dry your whole head, just your roots only. Just keep it on low or cool and just focus it on your roots. If you have a regular hair dryer and you don't have one of these, you can always use your regular one and just add this little concentrated nozzle at the end and just focus it like right on your roots. Don't want to do it for a long time, just enough so that you can just loosen it a little bit and it'll be a lot easier to like detangle and comb through and stuff like that. And the only reason I am suggesting this method is because you don't want to be sitting there trying to soften your new growth, detangle your hair, and your hair is just breaking off. Like that is just unacceptable. If you are trying and nothing is working and you're just sitting there and all your hair is on the floor and it's all in your comb and whatnot, your hair is breaking don't do that. Use a blow dryer, use it on your roots and get your hair a little bit more manageable. Don't sit there for hours tearing your hair apart. It's not worth it. Just, you know, use a little bit. Heat is not so evil where you can never use it. So definitely use it sparingly and use it on a very low or cool setting. Okay guys, so those are my major tips for you guys. Those are the ones that I tend to do that work for me. This may not work for everybody. Um, everybody's hair is different. So if something else works for you, definitely go ahead and do that method. If you wanna share what that method is, you can definitely leave it down in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys found this very helpful. If you did find it very helpful, please go ahead and like this video. If you have any comments, suggestions, Anything else you want to talk about, questions, please go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below. Please also let me know which video you guys would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.